Hello guys, so Jerry speaking. Welcome to Bedtime Stories, episode 89, and today we read you Arthur's First Sleepover by Mark Brown. So let's read it now, so we got, shall we? So we got Arthur's First Sleepover by Mark Brown. So, excuse me. Burped it, anyway. And we're gonna read this now. Arthur's Sleepover, First Sleepover by Mark Brown. And, let me turn to the next page, and, um, Arthur's getting, okay, for the cousins, Catherine, um, Jonathan, Haley, C, and Miles with Love, okay? Arthur's getting ready for his first sleepover. It isn't until Saturday, called Mother. Come in and eat your breakfast. Okay. Makes sense to me. Next page, anyway. Father laughed while he read the paper. Some man at his town says he saw a spaceship. He chuckled. Probably the same man um, who thinks he saw Elvis in the mall. Joke mother. Hmm. Okay. I don't believe in aliens, said uh, Arthur. Well, the National Require does, said D.W. And they'll pay a lot of money a picture for a picture of one. Hmm. Okay. Next page. Anyway. On the way to school, the girls are talking about the spaceship. Talking about the spaceship. Okay. Arthur wanted to talk about his sleepover. Where, where we have our sleepover in my tent, said Arthur. You want to catch me out in the tent? Um, uh, with spaceship landing, said Muffy. Okay. Bad news, said Buster. My mom thinks I'm going. I'm too young for a sleepover. I can't come. Um, yeah, I have to agree with Mrs. Mr. Ba Mrs. Bosker. You gotta do something, but you have to, said Arthur. No, it's my sleepover and you're my best friend. Um, this is Marie, help him. Anyway, why did you, they call him the sleepover, said Francie. No more ever sleeps. No sense to me, Miss. Arthur's friends? Jeez. Next page. Anyway. That afternoon, Arthur told, told his mother about Buster's problem. Okay. Well, I'll see what I can do, said mother. Arthur crossed his fingers while he, she dialed, which is my fame, by the way. Buster's mom did all the talking. Y yes, no, of course not, said mother. Absolutely good. Talking with you. Talking with you. Good. Bye. Mama smiled and nodded her head yes. Hooray, cried Arthur. Hmm. Does Buzz's mom know about the spaceship? Said Asty W. I saw a flashing light from one today. I think that was a pizza shop sign, said Mother. Yeah, that was a good idea for these two from the body and Arthurs. That's a good idea. Next page. Anyway. Saturday morning came. Arthur was outside making the tent cozy for a sleepover. His family helped as well. I was thinking, I was just thinking, said D.W., how do we know that you are our real parents um, uh, and not aliens in our bodies? I have to agree with D.W. at this point. Anyway, do you brush your teeth, asked Father. Okay, and pick up the mess in your rooms, young lady, said Mother. I have to agree with that big time. Anyway, okay, okay, said D.W. It sounds real, real to me, said Arthur. Hmm, okay, next page. Anyway, I was looking for his flashlight when Buster and the brain arrived. Okay, it was here a minute ago, said Arthur. I was wondering if uh, you see an alien, said D.W. If we do, said the brain, how are we going to communicate with them? Hmm. Forget about communicating, said D.W. Take pictures from National Require. Use my camera. No, you cannot. Anyway. Makes no sense to me, D.W. Anyway. Uh, we can split the money. No, you cannot, D.W. Anyway. Um, um, let's make us some signs, said Arthur. 
Good idea, said Buster. Um, but first I have to call my mom. Uh, okay. Different to that way. Anyway, next page. Anyway. We are your friends. Aliens, welcome. Please do my homework. That was stupid and ridiculous. Anyway. After they finished their signs, they unpacked. Okay. I bought a few snacks, said the brain. I bought a rubber snake, said Arthur, to keep DW away. What do you bring, Buster? Just my baseball cards, said Buster. And my blankie. Wow. Do you think uh, we would we really will see aliens tonight? No, do you, said Arthur. Hmm. Highly likely, said the Bray. Hmm. Okay. If it was here, you gotta do something. Anyway. The boys forgot about all about aliens. They were too busy telling jokes and trading baseball cards. Pella fight, scream up Buster. He's. That didn't make any sense to me. Quiet, said the brain. What's that sound? Footsteps, whispered Buster. They're getting closer, said Arthur. Ooh, ooh, peace at delivery, calling them in familiar voice. Compared to the special sleepover parents. Um, everyone laughed. Almost, almost stopped breathing, said Arthur. Almost wet my pants. Jeez. Anyways, next page. Anyway. Before I knew it, there I heard there I heard a one hour voice. Lights out, said Father. It's after nine, bedtime. Already, said Arthur. Thank you for the pizza, sir, said the brain. You welcome, said Father. Good night. Good night, uh, said the boy slightly. Now, these boys are really cool enough. Next page, anyway. For camping, that is. Quiet! Anyways, um, that's all I'm gonna say. Oh my god. Jesus. As soon as I heard Father go back to their house, they shot out their sleeping bags and their cannonballs. No, 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 stop, stop. Thank you. Um, anyway. I heard bedtime, said the braid. Did I hear it, some, did I hear it sleeping time? Let's, let's tell spooky stories, said Arthur. How about cards, said suggested Buster. No. Can we not tell spooky stories said, and never t and, until and, and, and he goes to sleep in every time, please? Thank you. Next page. Anyway. Just as it was, Arthur turned, the, turned into goldfish. They saw flashing lights. They dropped their cards. And it got very quiet. Aliens, whispered Buster. I didn't hear any footsteps, whispered Arthur. Of course not, said the brain. They haven't landed yet. Last flash it again. Their heads are up to our tent. Right you alive. Jesus. And they suddenly ruined it. Anyway, no one could find the, the flaps. Help, screamed Buster. Let me out. The tent collapsed. And I felt worried for the tent. You know, these three are going to be... She wasn't so worried, you know? That's just me. They didn't stop them from making a, a run for it. Bring a large maple tree dead. But a large sugar tree dead, excuse me. Ouch, said Arthur. Call my mom, said Buster. Yeah, I felt worried. Anyway, can you guys sleep instead of just go ouch, please? Thank you. Okay. Look, said the brain. The lights are coming through your house. I think I know that it's alien, said Arthur. It's from your planet, DW. If you're at the planet, DW. Um. Uh, um. Wow. Arthur knows the things that used to make signs. Jeez. They gave him an idea. Let's put our tent back up. Um. I I think I know what the way to teach the um the little space creature a lesson. I have to agree. Yeah. Next page. 
Oh my god. Anyway. Our, our, later, Arbor creeped quietly in the house. D.W. was in her room laughing. What's so funny, he asked. What are you doing up there, up there, said D.W. Do you come in because of you're scared? Um, not really, said Arthur. I'll return your camera because you'll probably see an alien before we will. I doubt it, said D.W. Well, just in case, said Arthur, sweet dreams. Then, qu then qu very quietly, he returned it into his tent. Okay, creeping it out. A minute later, D.W. heard a tap in the window. An alien, she screamed. She screamed but, but so loud that it woke up everyone in the, in the night neighborhood. Everyone except Buster, the Braid, and Arthur. When Mother and Father went to check, the boys were sleeping like good little angels. He's creeping her D.W. out, wasn't it? Next page. Anyway. Um, of course, after Mother and Father went back in the house, it was another story. So that was, um, uh, Girl the Alien. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was Arthur's first sleepover. What did I think about this book? Um, it was creepy and it was amazing. So far, this book went to be a success. Anyways, guys, that was Bedtime Stories episode 89. Hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned for the next one. It's going to be Arthur's Chicken Pox. Now, after this, the show will be canceled. And I'm going to have to read you more of these Arthur Adventure books. Arthur's TV Trouble through around Arthur Turns Green. Because if I do, then I'll be great. Till next time, this is yours and Bob. Peace out, baby. We're going with Bedtime Stories. You guys, be soon. Till my next out. See ya.